my brother and I played through the entire game of Raft, and it was interesting to say the least. I'm biting at your heels. No, 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 no. <laughs> and there's the bear. Is he aggroed at us already? Oh, jeez, he is. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> This admittedly took quite a bit of time, so for my sanity editing all this raw footage and your convenience watching this video, it will be broken up into three parts, with today focusing on how we survived in a world filled entirely with water while being confined to a small raft. That meant establishing a sustainable food source, acquiring water, teaching a shark to go vegan, and upgrading the technology of a raft to be more sustainable. Those are our goals for today, so let's get started. We started our journey by gaining the hardest achievement, finding a friend to play the game with. Luckily, I have my brother. Our raft at the moment was small and had no source of food or water. In order to solve that problem, we were to clean crew for the ocean, picking out plastic, wood, and palm leaves with our hooks. There had to be some sort of danger to our janitorial job, so that's where our third crewmate comes in. Oh, there's a shark. Oh, you just noticed it. <laughs> I just now noticed it. Yeah, as soon as I loaded the world, it was kind of chilling. We assumed he would stay chill, so we decided to name him Finn and make him part of the crew. Unfortunately, it turned out he was not chill like that. Ooh, I got a raw beat. Oh, no. What did I throw? Yeah, no, that that would be a bad thing to throw. Did you throw your hook? I threw my hook. Okay, so we need eight point oh, or shoot. 14. <laughs> okay, Finn, simmer down there. Oh man, he broke it it. But there was no time to worry about the raft because we managed to float by an island. We took this as an opportunity to get some supplies. Not useful supplies because I mostly picked up flowers, but at least there was a chest full of wood. <gasps> Water Malone and pineapple. Both useful food sources that would keep us alive. Unfortunately, we forgot about something. Uh, do we... Is the raft close still? Oh shoot, we need to go. <laughs> we oh, need to fun. go. <laughs> it's floating away. <laughs> oh no. Shark, Finn, ow, that hurts. Where is it? It's out, you gotta swim into the ocean. I don't see, oh shoot, there's no mini map. Where are you? Ah! <laughs> okay. I made it on here. Uh, if you walk down towards the ramp thing, it's right out there. I have a feeling. Uh, there's no run. Oh, oh I see shoot. you. Keep going. Straight. Come on, you got it. There <laughs> oh, this is not gonna end well. Can you throw me a hook? Uh, <laughs> I can't throw that far. <laughs> I think I made the swim easier for you because I see Finn over here at the raft with me. He just. Oh shoot! Oh shoot! <laughs> I I just had to speak. I think he circles the raft. He's You're jumping out of the, the water like a dolphin. <laughs> Did I just hop on your hook? Well, <laughs> that's one island successfully looted. <laughs> With everyone back on the raft and safe, I made a hammer to repair and expand a raft, which Finn did not like. Finn, I just built that. Oh shit. Uh, Where's my hook? My hook? <laughs> What button did I press to throw that? I need to stop pressing that. It's Q. Yeah, don't press Q. After all that excitement, our first night was upon us. We didn't have any beds to sleep through it, so I passed the time by testing if jellyfish stung us. Fun fact, they don't, but Finn does bite hard. We also continued hooking items and discovered the barrels and crates were really good loot items, even providing our first bits of food in the form of beets and potatoes. With that, we had successfully survived one day but we're both critically low on water. Luckily, Evan crafted a water purifier. While we waited for the water to purify, Finn got hungry again, which prompted me to make a spear as a deterrent for next time. Evan got his batch of water first since he made a purifier, which left me crucially low on water. Luckily, I had some health to spare until I finally got some water. Food was the next concern. We had some from the island, but would need a sustainable source. I made a fishing rod to catch some fish, while Evan made some crop plots we could plant potatoes and beets in. Finn, of course, did not like the crop plots Evan just placed. Hey, get back. Get back, Finn. Oh, no. no. I just <laughs> placed that. So we made another crop plot, but wouldn't have it running in time because Evan had a sudden realization. I just realized I'm dying of starvation. <laughs> and so was I. The fish I caught were no use because I didn't have the rope to craft a grill to cook them. 
time was not on our side with Evan collapsing to the ground, incapacitated. Not knowing what to do, I picked him up and it told me to find a bed. We had no bed, so in order to save the day, I would have to hook 10 palm leaves before I also succumbed to my hunger. I just need palm leaves. I have a palm leaf, but I can't give it to you. Palm leaf. I need you. Okay, there's three. I'm swimming for it. Finn's gonna have to just not know. Oh, Finn, I see you. Okay, I'm at seven. Oh shoot, I'm dying from hunger now. Okay, I need two more. Okay, there's one. I just need to hang on long enough. Ooh, I do have things to eat. I can stay alive a little bit longer. We definitely know what we're doing here. What's your view while all this is going on? Like, are you just staring at the floor or are you able to see? I'm just staring at the floor and like whatever random objects floating through the raft. Okay, bed is crafted. Uh, shark is attacking. Finn's eating something. He is. Okay, you sleep off not having food. <laughs> Perfect. So, this is our solution to water and food. We just need to be out of phase with each other so one person always put the other one on the bed. With this new discovery, the only thing that could stop us now was Finn eating in the bed. So we surrounded it in extra foundation tiles, then we crafted a grill to cook our fish, which would hopefully solve the food problem. It would have worked too if I didn't interpret remove as remove fish from the grill instead of this actual meaning, which was pick up the grill, which deleted my fish out of existence. At least to count as an achievement, but Evan had to come save me by tucking me into bed. Fully alert and awake now, it was now my turn to return to favor because Evan learned an important survival lesson. I'm incapacitated. You can just sleep it off. I think I drank salt water. I think that's what my problem was. Okay, so <laughs> let's not do that. I wasn't much better having learned not to get too greedy when looting islands. I won the watermelon, which I successfully got. But as a raft does, it flowed away. In my attempt to swim to it, I was right there on the edge. Freedom was within grasp, but Finn got me and Evan couldn't find my body in the dead of night, causing me to lose two thirds of my inventory, including my fishing rod and the watermelon. This was a turning point for me. No one takes my watermelon. Finn was no longer a quirky chill worker that occasionally got hungry and ate a raft. He was an enemy. With this newfound rage, I successfully defended the raft from Finn for the first time. No longer will we fear Finn. We would hunt him. The second night was coming to an end and our struggle for survival was taking a turn for the better. We had a farm and a way to cook food along with water and a bed. The only problem with the water was the farm and us both needed it. No, oh, I just, I just watered the plants. <sighs> ah. Plants are I more did. important. I started it though. <laughs> yeah, I knew that was going to be a problem. So I've been trying to make sure like as whenever I walk away, it's always started the process. As a solution, we just built two grills and water purifiers. So most likely we would have water at all time. With survival no longer a huge concern, we could set our sights on researching new technology. All we needed were the resources to craft the items and we could learn the recipe. Finn did not like this new burst of advancement. But after a few boops to the nose, he saw it our way. To antagonize Finn even more, we started adding nets to a raft that would automatically collect resources, and even placed a chest to store supplies. On night four, we finally got wealthy enough to afford two beds, so we could finally sleep through the nights. Waking up starving to death, but nothing a few beets and potatoes couldn't solve. Off in the distance, we spotted a lone raft, which would hopefully have some supplies, so we rode over to it with our freshly crafted paddle. No longer doomed to float aimlessly with the currents, we could paddle any direction we pleased. The raft promptly sank once we boarded it, but we had a crate of glass we would use later on. From there, our only mission was to grind resources. So that meant many more throws of the hook, even getting the 100 items hooked achievement. Things got a little monotonous, so there was a little bit of a competition every time a barrel or a crate flowed by a raft. So, ooh, barrel. I got sidetracked. Okay, anyway. <laughs> barrel! <laughs> <laughs> With the barrel loot, we were able to craft even more nets and start seeking out the islands for more rare materials, being the metal ore and stone and the water area surrounding the islands. This was a limited time opportunity because the raft did not want to stay at the island, despite Evan paddling against the current. 
you are still near me, right? Um, I'm trying to be. Okay, shoot, I need to go. <laughs> Have goodies and... Oh, crap, I'm probably gonna die. I dropped the anchor. I quickly crafted an anchor. Oh, <laughs> <Hopefully that's laughs> down. Ah! oh no! Pick me up if you can. <laughs> oh! <laughs> that could not have been closer. Between you crafting the anchor, it, the island doesn't even look that far away, but whenever you're swimming for your life, it looks a lot farther. So from all that, I have 16 stone, and I gained one extra piece of scrap. Is it worth me trying to make a sail? I don't think it would hurt. We might as well try it, see what it's all about. Oh. Okay, we both missed it. No. <laughs> ah. <laughs> From there, a medium farm plot was added to grow watermelons along with a sail so we could control our direction without requiring one of us to frantically paddle for our life. After that, the next big discovery was portable water bottles. I have no idea what a vine god is, but we have water bottles now. These will be essential when exploring big islands, so we would have to find some vine god to craft them. The question was, where? Before we could find the answer, we discovered a little something about Finn. Ark. Food. Oh, you, you killed Finn. Woo! Get Finn. Get wrecked, Finn. Raw shark. Good, because we were running low on food. Okay, I guess it kind of makes sense when the sail's up. The, so we have to drop the sail for the scrap. <laughs> Get wrecked. You may have killed a shark, but you're not going to steal that from me. Well, I'm going to this raft then. You sure about that? You may have killed one shark, but I don't know how soon the other one's gonna come. Despite my warning, Evan's bloodlust from killing Finn went straight to his head. And he started acting a little bit like Finn. You're being pretty ballsy going out there. I think it's going to your head. I, get, I need to get back to the raft, don't I? I mean, we're flowing towards you. You're taking all the things before they can even float down to me. I'm biting at your heels. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> I decided to leave him to his nonsense and added another crop plot and discovered that the seagulls could steal our food. We would have to be diligent to keep them at bay until we could craft a scarecrow. If they ate all our food, we would be goners. Like Finn here, who is now steak. He was very tasty. We approached another island, this time with Evan wearing Finn's head to hopefully keep away any future sharks. Our main target was getting scrap metal from the island, but the trip was cut short with Finn's replacement showing up. I got enough resources to craft a scarecrow, so everyone welcome our new crew member, Kyle. Hopefully a better addition than Finn. I also made fire. The lantern! Ooh! Fire! Fire! It didn't take the seagulls long to revolt and take Kyle's arm. I feared his time on the raft was limited, but he was a fighter and would find a way to survive. Then something crazy happened. To you, this may seem like just in our island, but this is the boat island. A small island with a 2% chance to spawn and required if you plan to get all the achievements, which we want to do. We got super lucky on this one considering we found it on day 8. Don't worry, the game thoroughly punished us later when we try to find a plain island with the same percent chance. That is much further down the road, so for now, we rammed a raft into the corner and crafted an anchor to hold it in place. We bore the island and investigated the boat to see what secrets it held. And it was just a hat Evan found and a help sign at the top of the island. Nobody was there, so we stole the hat guilt-free. There was also a cassette player from the island that we never used. Finn also investigated the land and got stuck. I tried to take him out with a spear, but it broke and Fenton was gone before I could craft a new one. While I did that, Adam forgot he needed oxygen while looting underwater. So I came and gave him my professional medical advice of just sleep it off and his drowning was cured. That could not be set for Kyle. Ah oh, shoot, I didn't even realize Kyle's gone. <laughs> no. Not Kyle. No. This world was a cruel one, and now we had to move on for Kyle's sake. I took out my rage by chopping down trees with my freshly crafted axe, gathered even more metal scraps, and we eventually set sail where we discovered I never even anchored the raft, so it could have flowed away at any time. Whoopsie. On our way to wherever the currents took us, we took down another fin, giving me a shark head to match Evans. From there, we just survived, carrying out our chores of scaring off seagulls and harvesting food. 
to solve the seagull problem, we tried crafting a bird nest, thinking it would keep the birds away. This was not what the bird nest did. It only gave us feathers and did nothing to keep them away. If anything, it attracted them. We gave up on trying to solve the bird problem and instead set our sights on advancing our technology, which was only hindered by the smelter. Once we had one, we could smelt the metal ore we found into metal ingots for more advanced tools. The only resources missing were clay and sand. Luckily, we stumbled on a large island that would have it. We carefully stormed the beaches and saw our next ready foe, the hog. Armed with only spears and bloodlust, we fought the guy. Oh, we juke it. I'm down. I'm running for the hills. Oh, shoot. Oh, sweet. Okay, we control this guy. Spawn reset on him. With the guard hog now taken out, we head to the top of the island and found a trading post that we couldn't trade with quite yet. And it had a bird dropping boulders on her head, which apparently you shouldn't let happen because Evan had to carry me all the way back to the raft where we researched more items and made a replacement scarecrow to protect the crops while we were still out exploring. He was not Kyle, but he would have to do for the time being. Back to focusing on the reason we came to the island, I dove underwater to get the remaining sand for the smelter and went back to the island to get the clay. There was a big bird dropping rocks on me trying to gatekeep the clay, but I dodged his assassination attempts and found the remaining clay we needed underwater. I went back to the raft to find my brother, not there, and instead sleeping on the beach. I had to show him where the bed was, and afterwards we crafted our first smelter and we were cooking. Just chuck a big wad of metal in the top, wooden in the bottom, and you got an ingot, which could be used to make metal tools instead of our flimsy plastic ones. Finn didn't like progress, so he got more boops to nose. Probably too many boops. Maybe the next Finn will be more tech savvy. And the first thing I crafted with her metal ingots was a battery. I don't know why, because nothing we have runs on a battery. So, in the chest it goes to be used at a later date. We also learned we could smell Celt and Divine God, which wasn't actually called Divine God. Oh, it's... It's fine goo. Vine God made no sense, but... Yeah, I swear that still looks like a D to me. We did some more island hopping and looting to build up our supplies of metal ore, vines, and sand to be smelted. I forgot about drinking water though while doing some diving, so I had to do the wild with shame back to the raft. With that guy hunting me down and my brother trying to save me by finding me. Water. Pick it up. Drop your cup. I don't have much time. Yes! Oh, oh crap, I am low on everything. <laughs> it's a miracle I'm even walking. Food, potato, go. Oh, everything's bad. Everything hurts. Oh. <laughs> I'm incapacitated. You're, oh, it, to me, you're just standing. I didn't know what was going on. Oh. <laughs> you're just kind of standing upright. One way or another, we made it back to the raft and were able to make a new and improved grill with three cooking spots. This was such a huge improvement. I just chucked the old grills out to the sea with the rest of the trash. The same happened to our water purification system, using glass panes instead to purify the water, no longer requiring the input of wood. How OP is this? It takes no wood. It takes no wood? You sold me on them, I'm in. Do we want to use up the wood that's in there? I guess it really doesn't make a difference anymore. Oh, shoot. Oh, you placed the plank. Screw it. Nope. I don't care. I, I am done with these. 99% of the wood I've ever gotten in this game has gone to those. You know why I think of these, Evan? Fresh. Exactly. It was also a huge improvement with the quantity of water purified at once. Instead of one cup at a time, it would hold five and store it. Peter chests were added for improved storage along with a portable bottle of water. This bottle held so much water. Even the new water purifier didn't have enough water to fill it. This meant no more death waddles back to the raft and more exploration. Any previous struggle for survival would surely be behind us now. We could even grow trees on the raft, which some turtles came by to check out. We never saw from them again, so I think they didn't quite like the rustic beauty of this raft. So we started making it look less like a raft and more like a home. 
If I was going to call this raft a home though, I needed a juicer, and also an excuse to make the battery I crafted not a waste. This is what the dumpster fire raft looks like right now, very functional with no beauty, but that can change. We just need resources. So you said you're incapacitated, huh? I'm floating in the raft. You're in the or raft. under the raft. What? I don't see you under the raft, I see shark. I, I, I'm under a shadow of something. Oh, you're on the ground. I thought you were. F oh shoot. We're both incapacitated. Yep. What all do you have? You well, have all the metal equipment. Yeah, so metal I'll... equipment, vine goo, and water bottle, and. I'll empty whatever I have left, and then I'll come try to get you. There you are. You're at the bottom. I save your. Uh, Ow. Okay. <laughs> Where's the bed? There's the bed. Take me. Come on. Do it. <laughs> Do it. I have nothing. You can take nothing from me. Oh, you were just trying to respawn and get health? I have more health now. After that little instant and a lot of resource gathering, we could finally build our dream raft. This meant moving around all our equipment, building walls just to tear them down to add a scenic view, Placing down the finest of wood foundation along with a literal fire in the middle of the raft. Definitely a good idea. Admiring a work from afar. Barrels! Finn taking his property tax cut. So much chest moving and item sorting. And we found a cat. This took us all the way to day 30, but we could finally consider this a raft and not a trash heap, so let me show you around the crib. Out front is a permanent anchor so the raft won't float away when we loot islands. Inside our humble abode is a chest to store all the fruit right next to the juicer the smelter of ores, and a research table for new recipes. A buttload of chest at the back to store any and all the items we could ever need for crafting. Another smelter on the other side next to the barbecue to cook food, and a trash can. Even though we just throw the trash back to the sea, it's more there for aesthetics. Out front is our solar still for water, and up the stairs are our two beds, and large, medium, and small crop plots. And finally, a radio transmitter powered by a battery to detect in the islands near us so we can loot them or find the story islands. As the final and most important part, there are collection nets lined along the entire raft. So collecting resources by hand will be a thing of the past. Finn, you cut that out. We just built those. Now that we had a raft capable of weathering any storm and a full set of metal tools, it was time to go to the first story mission. That was if the radio transmitter worked. Apparently it didn't run on magic, so we need to place down three antennas to get a signal, and now we can set a course to the blue dot. We clearly procrastinated quite a bit in our playthrough because we got all the crafting recipes from the packages you fish out of the ocean before even doing the first story mission, but we were finally on track to being the game. Now fully capable of surviving and able to focus completely on uncovering the secrets of where the rest of humanity has disappeared to. While the raft slowly sailed its way to the first story location, I did a bit of fishing to build up our food supplies and enjoyed the sunrise, marking the beginning of a journey both my brother and I could not have predicted. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Oh, no.